sitting in my Swedish grandfather's rocking chair to talk about another aspect of hearing God's voice, the idea of learning to quiet my heart. This chair was in the corner of the combination living room, family room, dining room, nap room, office in the house that my grandfather built uh, when he married my grandmother. The chair sat in the corner. Uh, it allowed him to watch Walter Cronkite do the news um, every evening, to watch gun smoke, um, and to be there when people would walk into the house uh, from the kitchen, uh, to be able to, to know what was going on, to respond to people. It's the chair that he sat in through family conversations, through visits, through cups of coffee, through all of those kinds of activities. And it's a chair that I associate with him being quiet, being calm. Part of it's his personality. He was just a calm kind of person. But it makes me wonder if my grandfather had read Psalm 131 and made it part of the fabric of his life. Here's what Psalm 131 says. My heart is not proud, O Lord, my eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me. But I have stilled and quieted my soul. Like a weaned child with its mother, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, both now and forevermore. The psalmist is talking about humility. The psalmist is saying, there are times when I could get all consumed with all kinds of stuff that I can't do anything about. And it could drive me crazy. It could make me so worried, so concerned. It could make me want to get online and have conversations with people about how awful things are. And the psalmist says, God, you know what? My heart is not concerned with those things. Um, I have stilled and quieted my heart. And Psalmist uses an image of um, a weaned child, a child that snuggles close to a parent not because of food, but because of the calm presence of being with the parent. It's the idea of the four-year-old snuggling up to a parent and falling asleep. And David says, God that's what I have done. I am stilling myself. I am calming the franticness. Because I want to be with you. I want to hear from you. And I cannot be with you and hear from you if I'm running all over the place. This psalm is a very short psalm. But it's a very hard thing to live out. But I'm pretty sure that the more we tell ourselves this song, my heart is not proud, O Lord, my eyes are not haughty, I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me, but I have stilled and quieted my soul. The more we do that, the more able we are going to be to hear from God.